Hi, uh, this video tutorial I will cover uh, chain of responsibility design button class diagram and uh, sequence diagram. Before you watch this video tutorial, please log into my channel and watch chain of responsibility design button introduction, chain of responsibility design button real time example uh, video tutorial. Uh, then come and watch this tutorial so that you will understand uh, this video tutorial very clearly. Okay, and uh, this is the class diagram of uh, chain of responsibility design button. Here uh, you can see handler which is an interface uh, or abstract class and it has a handle request method and uh, this method is uh, abstract method and here you can see concrete handler 1, concrete handler 2 which uh, inherits uh, handler interface or uh, abstract uh, class okay and uh, this handle request method uh, will be implemented by this concrete handlers so here you can see handle request and handle request okay and uh, client holds reference to this handler okay and uh, another name of handler is uh, receiver okay the handler is nothing but a receiver okay and what this concrete handler will do is when request comes first it will check and the uh, i can handle this request or not if it can handle then it will handle the request then it will uh, check uh, further processing for that uh, particular request is needed or not if it is needed then it will pass it to the next handler in the chain suppose say uh, when request comes to this uh, concrete handler if it cannot handle then it will pass the request to the next uh, uh, handler in the chain okay that's what uh, it is mentioned here if if it can handle it will handle the request if it cannot handle or further processing is needed then it will pass it to the next handler in the chain okay and we will see the sequence diagram uh, next so here you can see client and uh, handler handler 1 handler 2 this is the first uh, handler in the chain and this is the second handler in the chain so client send uh, request to the handler uh, saying please handle this uh, request so this uh, handler will uh, check whether uh, it can handle the request or not if it can handle it will handle the request and then it will check further processing for the request is needed or not if it is needed then it will send it to the next handler in the chain okay and suppose say uh, client send a request to the uh, handler uh, saying handle this request if uh, if the if this handler cannot handle the request then it will just pass the request to the next handler in the chain and uh, next handler will check whether it can uh, process the request or not if it can handle it will handle otherwise it will pass uh, to the next handler in the chain until uh, request is processed by the handler like that uh, the request will pass to the next uh, handlers okay and uh, this is about uh, class diagram and sequence diagram of uh, chain of responsibility design pattern i have uh, created separate video for uh, chain of responsibility design pattern implementation where i have explained uh, uh, java code related to this uh, chain of responsibility design pattern and this is about uh, chain of responsibility design pattern class diagram and sequence diagram and uh, thanks for watching bye